Yeah, so basically here in Europe we have to do garbage separation. We have over here uh, packaging material, the green uh, containers here are for biodegradable waste and the black large container here is for all the rest uh, waste which is going to be ultimately burned. But now I want to show you something really disgusting, okay? So let's look at uh, these uh, containers here um, for, uh, for compost, okay? And if you open, when you open the lid, you're going to see thousands of fly larvae maggots and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put them under the microscope okay so let's get started Yeah, and here they are, those little fly larvae, the maggots, these maggots, they are basically, they, they, they like to clump together. And I think the reason why they like to do this is because uh, they like to have it moist. And when you shine a flashlight uh, from one side, uh, they will, will tend, tend to move away because uh, they always like to move into the darkness. Um, here you don't see this effect very well because there's too much ambient light. Uh, this is time lapse, and you can see see them whizzing uh, around. And you can also see that the container is a little bit moist. Okay, there seems to be some water on here. And what the fly larvae do is is uh, they um, nourish themselves by absorbing nutrients over their skin, so they don't have a mouth uh, yeah, where they eat, but they actually absorb. Um, the nutrients, so they release enzymes uh, that do uh, that digest and break down the nutrients, and then they absorb um, absorb the absorb the food. Yeah, and so they're moving around. Some of them are larger, others are smaller, and the uh, brown um, structures, oval structures that you see sticking on the lid, uh, these are the cocoons, uh, and flies will emerge uh, um, out of these cocoons after a few weeks. So this is a real fly breeding station here. I have to calm you down uh, in the sense that those fly larvae and flies won't stay there uh, because uh, once a week uh, a, a truck comes uh, to pick up uh, the biodegradable waste and um, all of the fly larvae, it's, everything's going to be cleaned away and uh, rinsed away so these uh, fly larvae will not have an opportunity to actually uh, develop flies, at least uh, the majority of them, otherwise this would be a real health hazard. Yeah, I'm now using a, is a, a short, sharp knife uh, to carefully uh, pick uh, two of them up um, and uh, because I want to bring them upstairs uh, to my microscope so I simply am transferring them. The thing that I don't uh, like about uh, this, uh, these fly larvae is, is not that they, uh, uh, they themselves, I don't consider they themselves so disgusting but really rather the, the container with a biodegradable waste because there are many bacteria growing here. Okay, So this is really actually not, not, not such a healthy place and you can also smell it, the smell is pretty bad. But then again, uh, it's uh, luckily washed out once a week. Maybe not enough, I would say. Uh, but uh, yeah, the majority of them will not be able to develop flies. Now, the fly larvae, um, I carried upstairs into my room and I simply carefully transferred them uh, on a slide. I'm using a slide with, uh, a, uh, with a depression, so it's concave. That's totally not necessary. I just thought uh, it's, I'm gonna put a cover glass on top uh, to keep them there, but this was totally not necessary. The fly larvae, they were not crawling away anyway. So they stayed there, so you can you just use a regular slide. Um, and then I put everything under the microscope and I, I used epi illumination. This means that I used light from the top by using my desk lamp. And this is what you see using the four times uh, magnifying objective, the 4x objective. You can see in the center is the smaller larvae, larva and on the lower right, you can see the, the, the yeah, the, larger one okay so you can see the larger one does not fit uh, um, almost uh, on the image at all yeah i just want to uh, yeah while you watch these pictures i just want to tell you a little bit uh, a few more things about these guys um actually i i use them also in school uh, to do experiments however of course i'm not using uh, uh, wild fly larvae like these here because they're way too dirty um, and uh, so what i do is i go to a fishing shop and uh, basically uh, what I do is uh, you can buy a, a box of them um, yeah, to, uh, yeah, no, uh, not as uh, to attract, to catch fish. Um, and they yeah, basically contain several hundred of them. 
and uh, I buy a box of them. I have to keep them in the refrigerator, otherwise they turn uh, into uh, cocoons. They form cocoons too quickly. And then I bring them to class, and then um, in school um, we do experiments with them. We don't kill them, of course, but what we do is, is we um, can actually make measurements on how fast they move away from light if we shine light uh, from one side. So this is uh, basically, we do simple behavioral studies. And uh, usually when I bring them to class, uh, the students are totally fascinated. Uh, usually it's the, or sometimes it's the first time that they've actually seen them up close. And usually I cannot even start the experiment because it takes them probably, I don't know, a full lesson. Uh, they're playing around with them. Honestly, they're really playing around with so, uh, around with them for a full lesson. And then actually we can get started uh, with the experiment because they're so fascinated. And I usually give uh, them the time to play around a little bit. And when I say play around, I mean that they're doing, I don't know, I've uh, had a class of high school students who were actually doing races. They were actually lining them up on their table and they were just kind of, yeah, um, yeah timing who which fly larva was the fastest one so this was actually uh, i think this is also an important experience to have um, to actually get a little closer in contact with nature but those uh, fly larvae that uh, i bought in the fishing shop they are actually very clean they were, were bred in an artificial environment so so not in a in a biodegradable container but uh, they were given uh, yeah uh, food powder for example and so they're clean um, otherwise it would not be it would be it would be kind of disgusting yeah, so basically um, we've also done experiments where we, we tested the sensitivity to different colors of light. Um, so what we've done is, is we um, used, uh, now sidetracking, uh, I turned on now the microscope light from the back, uh, so you can see it doesn't work quite well. Yeah, so what I did is uh, we uh, tested different light colors and what this means is, is that uh, we were using our mobile phones and we were turning on the screen either blue, red, green or blue and then we, were, uh, we observed um, which, uh, for, um, at which uh, color they react most. Okay? So that's also a possibility. Um, and uh, basically also one of the things that uh, one should probably not do is, is of course you can also wait until the flies develop but uh, then you, of course you have flies flying around and that's also again not good because you don't know actually where they go and then they lay eggs and then they have you have uh, again more flies and so what you have to do is you got to kind of uh, yeah, dispose of them in a in a meaningful way uh, either use them either return them to the shop uh, or use them as fish food or something like that right so yeah and then last but not least um, yeah some students who really got a little carried away um, there was actually a girl i remember and she came up to me and she was totally proud that she actually ate one of those fly larvae. I could not believe this. Uh, but she was not the only one because some of the boys also ate fly larvae and she was so proud because she told me, oh, I actually chewed it. I was actually brave enough to chew it and bite on it. And the boys, well, they just swallowed it down like that in the, the full fly larvae and I was actually brave enough to actually chew it. No, you don't do that, okay? <laughs> that's, that's also disgusting. I mean, uh, yeah, the fly larvae are clean because they were the bought ones, okay? But you still don't do that, yeah? Those uh, fly larvae, um, actually I have to admit, I later on um, disinfected everything because uh, it's not that the fly larvae are so much of a concern, but they have bacteria on them uh, from the biodegradable, from the compost, and, and I don't want to have them um, around, so I used alcohol. Yeah, and this, the, the brown stuff that's sticking on the fly larvae, it's some kind of, a, I don't know, piece of dirt. <laughs> okay, You can actually uh, see that they're not quite fully transparent, um, but uh, you can actually see some of the organs also inside moving. That's, uh, yeah... So I think it's, it's better to actually look at the smaller fly larvae, which you can see as a whole. Yeah, I used uh, not dark field, but I used actually epi illumination, means uh, light from the top, as I think I already mentioned that. And you can see that it actually quite works quite well. So it's also a nice thing to look at using a stereo microscope. But I used just my regular compound microscope. Okay, so that's it. And uh, then later on, of course, uh, we want to return everything back to the place uh, where uh, we got them from. So I did not kill them, I returned them, uh, knowing that they're ultimately gonna be killed anyway, <laughs> because uh, the truck rinses out everything and then basically everything is gonna end up in a big compost, uh, composting company. Um, yeah, but just as a basic principle of that you, you, you don't just kill them. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna kill them, it's not something that I'd like to do. Yeah, okay, so that's it. 
So, well, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, something I did not show you, I used the uh, epi-illumination epi for um, observing the fly larva. So this means is I used one of my desk lamps uh, and I put it, uh, yeah, on top of the specimen like this, okay? And uh, this uh, was sufficient light uh, to allow me to see uh, the specimen. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting. See you next time. Bye-bye.